Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Tom Clancy's The Division. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today we're talking about group tactics in survival. Let's talk about it. Survival can be played solo or can be played in teams of up to four players. The tactics that you use playing solo is going to be different than what you're going to use with two players or three players or four players. When you're playing solo, you always have to watch your own back. You always have to approach situations a little bit more cautiously, especially at the beginning of an encounter in survival because your weapons and armor aren't up to snuff compared to what you're used to. Now, what about in teams? Now, there are two schools of thought on teams of two, three, and four. You can either split up or stay together. Staying together, you have uh, the advantage of getting more firepower on NPCs and players. You can get different angles on them. So you should be able to clear out NPCs a lot faster and landmarks than you would by yourself. That's the advantage. The disadvantage is whenever there's drops, it's all communal drops. Everyone doesn't have their own drops and caches can only be opened by one player and only one player gets them. So whoever opens the fabric container or the weapons container or armor container, they're the only ones that can pick that up or there's only one player that can pick up those items. So that's a disadvantage. So the other school of thought is to split up. Now the advantage of that is everything that you pick up, every encounter with NPCs, you get everything that drops. The downside is uh, if you run into another player or group of players or you're in a tight spot with NPCs, you don't have the advantage of someone watching your back, someone getting an angle, a different angle on the NPCs or other players where it would make it easier to take those down. So there is advantages and disadvantages no matter what you choose. And if you're playing in a group of four, you have the option of splitting up into teams of two and going around or splitting up completely where everyone is basically solo or maybe have one group of two and then two people going solo. Uh, partially it's going to depend on how comfortable you are playing survival. The other part is how much stuff that you want. So you have to weigh the comfort level with where you're placed on the map with being able to get your weapons and gear score up faster. So in this situation, it was myself and one other player. We split up. Now when you do that, you want to have a general direction to go into. So we chose the general direction of, say, the helicopter crash, the nearest helicopter crash. And we kind of both took our own path getting to that direction. And then going from there on to or towards the dark zone if everything works out you'll be able to meet up just before you get into the dark zone and then you can split up again run your separate ways grab your antivirals and do whatever you need to do get some division tech whatever uh, depending on how fast of a run that you want to make if you're trying to do more of a speed run, you're going to quickly get your fabric and your tools, grab your filter, maybe grab a weapon if you have the time, get into the dark zone, grab your antivirals, and get your flare gun and get out. Now if you're pacing yourself, then you obviously have more time, you can build up your gear score, build up your armor, build up your weapon supply so that you have the weapons that you like to use. Um, you can craft a gun. If you're not able to get 
a drop from a weapons cache that you like, uh, maybe you really dislike shotguns and you've only been getting shotguns from weapon caches or NPCs. Or you really dislike SMGs. Whatever the case may be, if you only get one type of weapon and that's the weapon that you like the least, uh, you'll have to make do until you can make one yourself. But the best thing to do, split up but not be too far away, so if something were to happen, uh, as is normally the case, where one player needs help, you're never more than a few blocks away from them. So if you already have an idea of where you're at and where you're going, communication is certainly the key to making a group work in survival. Uh, unless you're running together as a pack running together then you're always going to be right next to each other basically or within you know say less than a block away and like i said before the downside to doing that you're not going to be able to have as high of a gear score you're not going to be able to get as many parts fabric tools etc to make things, to make different skills, to make another backpack, you're going to have a harder time making a filter to get into the dark zone. Because you'll need two blue fabrics and two blue tools to make a filter. So ultimately, it's up to you. And like I said, how comfortable you are with your map position. So if you're comfortable where you're put down, you can go split up and go your separate ways and make sure that you're both going in the same general direction. Because like I said, if you're four blocks away from someone and they get knocked out by an NPC, if they encounter a player and they're not sure if they're going to be able to handle it on their own, you'll be able to make your way over to them to help them out. So if you split up, Make sure you communicate. If you stay together, you also need to communicate. Let everyone know where NPCs are, where other players are at. I like to grab a pulse so that I can see exactly where NPCs and players are at. You can run whatever you're most comfortable with. If you like using smart cover, you can use that. If you can... If you like using turret, you can use those. Whatever you're most comfortable with. So the skills that you make are up to you and, of course, what parts you have available to make what skills. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you next time.
Check it out. Progressing. Got your location. I'm coming in. Put her down, nice and easy. Taken off in 10 seconds. Hello, returning. 
to base. Happy to have you back online, Agent. I was worried about you there. The storm's passed and things are looking up. Get back here when you can. <laughs> 